During the pandemic, school districts have invested in virtual learning. So will that mean, what will that mean for the potential for learning at home? Will it mean the end of snow days for students? Abby Dodge is live in the Shawnee Mission School District. So Abby, have district leaders decided yet what to do about snow days this year? Brad, I took the time today to email all of the major school districts in the metro. Some have very clear plans that they've already shared with families. Others are still ironing out the details. Soon, the excitement of a snow day could be a story we tell our grandchildren, not something they experience firsthand. Since the beginning of the pandemic, schools have invested significantly in their technology. KC Public Schools doubled its contract with T-Mobile in order to upgrade their hotspot data. Shawnee Mission says investment leads to opportunity. Now that all of our students have devices and we have extensive experience with remote learning, that does give us options. Now more than ever, students have the ability to learn from home. Districts recognize that and are making snow days obsolete. We asked local districts how many kids are going to be shedding their coats to sit down on the couch and learn. Blue Springs already has a plan for all age groups. Pre-K through second grade students have packets of activities they can work on during snow days. Everyone else will work virtually on any days formerly known as snow days. Lee Summit says it's finalizing plans on the future of snow days with senior leadership this week. Kansas City, Kansas and North Kansas City schools say they will shift to virtual learning anytime school is canceled due to inclement weather or other unforeseen reasons. Hickman Mills says it has similar plans once students return to in-person learning. On the Kansas side, Olathe Schools says it's working on a plan that could make traditional snow days melt away. Shawnee Mission says virtual learning during inclement weather is a possibility, but they'll keep a close eye on power throughout the area. We have teachers who live across the metro area. So if we have a number of teachers living in an area that doesn't have power, that would impact their ability to work remotely with their kids. So again, we'll have to, we'll have to look at all of those things. It just, it adds, it does add additional possibilities, but also additional complications. The Shawnee Mission School District says that they'll make the call on a virtual learning day with the same advance notice that they give families every year for snow days. Live in Shawnee, Abby Dodge, KC, TV5 News.